Here we're going to do the word fighter. So first let's look at the simplest possible way to combine these letters. We've got an F, I, G, H, T, E, R. Uh, this T can be done in several ways. The other way would probably, the easiest or simplest possible combination would be this probably, to continue the word line and connect the E to that instead of connecting it off of the T. But there's a whole bunch of options with that T there. As we know, the T is a very flexible letter. So this is a simple, simple way to combine them. Let's see what we can do here. First of all, FI, there's not a lot we can do except for start skewing that around or making the F very small and encapsulating completely in the I. IG uh, can be combined like so. So the letters would, this would be the incoming letter and then outgoing letters would be from here or you could even fit them in here. Uh, GH, there's a special combination for GH. You simply need to do that. Simply draw a line straight through it. Uh, when you look at this, some people might go, well, you've also got the D. How do you know that's not a D? Well, how many GD combinations do you know, and how many GH combinations do you know? It's the same reason that this is always OD instead of OH, simply because OD is so much more common. Again, GH commonly used, so we don't require that you draw the extra line down. It, you can use it if you like. It's always there, but you don't have to. So, oh, we got up to GH. Uh, T, H, T, we're probably not going to need it much. We can just draw T straight out of the H. Um, and then, oh, ER. That's an ER. So we've got quite a few double combinations to work with here. Um, there's a few triples we can build in, too, as we go. So let's, let's see what we got here. So F, I, G. Now, if we try to put the H through here, we could. We could try to do it like maybe so. That could be H. Yeah, that works. It only crosses the G. Um, we could then go T, E, R, fighter. Or we could maybe even connect it directly off of there, fighter. And that would fit maybe better. There seems to be some space on that side. So that's one way to go. But if, So if we connect the I to the G, then our GH combination kind of throws us off a bit. We could also consider not putting the H into the G. I usually do. This is my favorite GH. We'd draw GH. But if we don't, we can then continue off of there. And then this would leave us open to any T combination we want. So we could put the T there and then put the ER there. Or we could even consider using that version of the T, the reverse S-curve of the T. There's a whole bunch of options there. So let's just use the F-I combination for now, and then put a G-H underneath it. And as you can see, if we just give it kind of feet, we've got, that's fight. If you have to add the E-R to it, as always, there's the simplest way is to add a circle with a bolt in it. Or sometimes you like to add the bolt underneath the, the E, just for effect, or for, to fill in space. Now let's try to turn this into a nice square-shaped character, like a Chinese character. So, let's build a little box to work in. It's not quite square, but good enough. Uh, gonna need a lot bigger for this word, probably. Okay, so, now let's try starting in the right side. Fighter. Not bad. It's kind of balanced off the top down, so if, if you fit it right, it could look really nice. You can also then, if you just wanted to fill the space, there's no reason that this E can't be stretched or contorted. So you could just do this with the E to fill up as much space as possible. And you can even put the, the bolt the other way if you like. Okay, so that's one way. Um, let's try to make another one. I'm not particularly fond of that version. So let's try starting in the top. Okay, that's not bad. Now, we're going to want to fill up over to there, so... And no, this doesn't work, because now it looks like I've created an S there. It curves too much, and someone's going to see that coming out of the eye, and they're going to assume that's supposed to be an S. See, like, remember, the S is a curve off to the side there, so the G should try to start like so, or if you start on the side there, you have to curl immediately. If you were to come all the way around here, someone would look at this and probably assume that you wanted to make two letters. D script is not clear-cut, as always. It's, well, it is in this vertical version, but as soon as you start doing what I'm doing here and twisting and contorting, the rules are very subjective, to put to say the least. You just have to make sure that the person can still see what you mean. There are the rules, but there's also the ability to recognize. So, G. Now we could rotate that up to fill that space a little bit. We could even do that probably and it would, we'd get away with it. In fact, let's try that. Not too much of a curve so that it looks like an I, but if we were to give it just enough of a 
curve, it should help make the top feel filled up, filled up. And then we can put our T. Let's make it straight. And then we can just kind of make an, an average E on the bottom here. Fighter. Okay, I'm, I'm liking this one a little more than the last one.